Okay, here we go. We're gonna start off our new game here. We're gonna do a little workers and resources. Soviet Republic. I did find this. Uh, I can go over the map a little better after. I'll try to find the link for it eventually too. Because whoops, I didn't make any commands for this game yet. But uh, I think these are the settings we're gonna go with. It's pretty close to the realistic button. So we are gonna keep realistic mode on as we just sort of go through all our settings quick. I did set money to medium instead of hard. It's not going to be unlimited, not going to be easy, but I'm not great at this game. So this little bit of help, I think, will help us enough. Uh, I'm cool for unsatisfied citizens, why not? We'll do energy for buildings and vehicles, so we'll have to get fuel, we'll have to run power lines. I feel like that's uh, an easier setting in this game. So especially now, we'll have a few free gas stations and things, I know. Uh, energy management will keep on. Oh, that's that. Sorry, water management. I definitely know how to read lines. So we're going to keep water on, but we're going to have seasons off for now. I think they just... To heat up buildings is nice and all, but I feel like it's just winter you can't get anything done. Like, I'm supposed to be outside and go do stuff. I've been inside the last little while. <laughs> for, the, for the last week, who knows how long I've been outside. It's winter, right? You, you don't get too much done. But we're gonna keep water on so I was a little debating between the two and I think I'm happy with just starting with water eventually we could look to turn winter on but I don't think we need to start off with winter I feel like winter off at the start will be a little easier on us so oh howdy sniper welcome in <laughs> thanks for joining us so just keep going through our intro too uh, but we'll keep building fires frequent just for the giggles of it, right? Who doesn't love a little fire? Let's see if this button even works, huh? Firebun? Ah, uh, firebun does not work. What? I missed. <laughs> okay. Yeah, firebun doesn't work. Oh, well, we tried. <laughs> Welcome in there. Uh, we'll keep global events. I, I don't know if I've ever really seen them. Maybe I've seen some price changes, but I feel like... Uh, I don't know if this has been flushed out since the last time I played or what. We'll keep pollution on. Just don't build factories near where people live. Not too bad. Uh, education's a little complicated, but we're going to go for it. We'll just have some kindergartens and things. It might look for some modern ones eventually, but we'll keep it vanilla. Crime and justice. Sure, I haven't gone too much into it, but I'm excited. Traffic will keep high. I don't even know what the difference between the two would be, but we're going to find out. Uh, research is, I have not seen anything locked by research, but maybe it's just because I haven't seen it. So that's an easy way to tell. We'll keep our lock according to starting here, and we'll have our start day. It is going to be always day, just because uh, rendering on nighttime is impossible. But we'll go through the map, we'll take a couple peeks around, and then uh, we'll see where we go. Uh, let's this. We're just going to double check the mic doesn't get too messed up for a second. I'm going to move the microphone a little more centered to the way I'm going to face, hopefully. Okay, looks pretty stable. Let's see, the game's building up. Oh, oh. Game's a little upset with me. My computer was not in uh, a good mode for this. Let's try to give it this extra second to boost its load up. Yeah, there we go. Now the fans are turning on. Yeah, man. Let's peek at task manager. What's task manager thinking about us? Who knows? But I guess, uh. Yeah, I definitely had in a little bit of a power saving thing, and, uh. I guess it doesn't like this transition. We'll give it a second to load in, though. There we go. Okay. It's the first generation's not too happy. Oop. Uh. Just get the controls, so we'll pop the map. One thing no one really told me when I started was, you can... Oh, there's a way to do it. I'm gonna find it. Oh, yeah. You can just hold this little arrow thing and drag it. So look at how much bigger you can make the map now. So, uh, this does have the normal-ish borders. Probably gonna... I mean, we're a pretty big map here. There is nothing built on the map yet. And it's kind of flat, so I didn't pick the hardest of places, but... I don't know if it was going to be the easiest too. We can even take a little peek. We sort of see a lot of the industrial stuff will probably be in this sort of lower area here. Because you have some, well, you have coal here, which is pretty useful early on. We do have a lot of oil, so we might try to get some oil stuff around this area to start. 
and then we can even try to get some sort of export or some sort of things in this area later on but oil around here would be nice uh do a bauxite i haven't really gone too far into bauxite and uh, uranium will just find it when we find it so i don't know if we'll try to keep up there or some eventually like uranium is just such an afterthought where like yeah, it doesn't matter as much. At least bauxite. We'll, we'll have to think where iron and stuff goes, because there is coal and iron in, I guess, these sort of areas, but the river here is going to suck. So we'll try to find iron on the top area. Yeah, so we might try to do some sort of steel production here, is sort of my thoughts. Maybe even just sort of plan out the main thing. Make the map a little smaller so we could do like steel around here might do some like oil here and then maybe we'll live around this top area so i think that's sort of the light plan which means we will check our bordering things too there's some mountains near where the borders are which kind of sucks uh ooh, and there's a little bit of river so we're gonna probably keep some of this area we're gonna try to find i think there's a border here i was looking at before it's got power, it's got a couple rails, and it has a couple roads. So this is beautiful. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Bring Slabu... Uh, <laughs> I can definitely name these things properly. <laughs> Just gonna... Whoops! Just gonna name it after people in the chat, probably. It makes it so much easier on me. Ew. There's the Jonesy... I need a good second thing. Jonesyville. <laughs> There's Jonesyville. We really like uh, Americanized the entrance. Might do that for a couple places. Uh, do struggle with words. So uh, now, now we have it easier. So a little Jonesyville over there. Jonesyville has everything we need. And he's going to be in the Soviet side if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So the Soviet money is the P, American money is the dollars. So the closer down here we go, the cheaper it would normally be. But because everything we get is going to come from Jonesyville or well anywhere from a border, it does sort of change the border prices if we could sort of see them. They're not the biggest, but hoping it's not too small. So like there's some of the Jonesyville prices. We'll pin it. Try to find a border down. Uh, I can even try to find an American one. Where's the Americans at? Bye. Here's an American one at Yugo Land. We could even sort of try to compare. Like the prices are a little different. I mean, they're a different currency and all. But we will find out. And then even if we were to go up north to oh not north uh, i want to go to i think prinsk is gonna be I oh no okay. oh there's two right beside each other here okay uh can we click onto here no i'm too far that's why here we go the voodoo labinsky good voodoo labinsky you need to build a city hall oh Oh, there we go. I just missed the house. So to see, some of the prices are... Are they the same? Okay, oh, they are the same. Okay. Cool to know. I was not sure if different cities would have different prices. So, yes, the different sort of currencies, I guess. Hopefully, we'll find out. But we'll go back towards Jonesyville. Is this another? Oh. Oh, there is another one up here, too. Cool. Jonesyville, you got a couple things there. <laughs> I do like that Jonesyville brings us to Brinsk. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna actually get ourselves started, so it'll be a little slower start. Uh, I don't have much things pinned and whatnot. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. We got our first autosave in. We're gonna start with just a simple mud road. Ba -ba -ba. Do we need curvature? We don't need too much curvature yet. Let's see how far around here are we going. I actually wanted to go a little bit more north-ish too. I don't want to build off too far. Let's see, was there any... Ah, 
I don't... Mm, okay, we probably could. So we could try to do some gravel stuff around here, maybe. I don't know how... Uh, I don't have everything to spots I know them fully yet, but okay, that's why I'm looking in the wrong section. So we would want to build roads. Okay, yeah, we do have a free, few free gas stations. I don't know what the limit is, but we'll find out. Okay. So we would look towards construction and gravel. So we would need a gravel quarry and a processing plant. So, ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't even fly in the terrain here, but yeah. This is at least the right spot for gravel to be gone or made. So we would look for some sort of stone like that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, heavy train, you can build a road first and build a connection, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oop, game tips. Thank you. Uh, I'm not against trying to do some of our construction stuff around here. Okay. So, for we, if we even look towards our construction industry, there's a lot of industries. What we will need as like our base base ones. Gravel is going to be one sort of base material, which we could start importing. Uh, we need bricks, so we'll probably need some bricks. Asphalt we'll sort of need. I'm not... It's a little tough to get through. We'll probably need some prefabs. We will need 100% we'll need sort of cement and concrete. So it does need water and oh, okay, it does need coal and gravel. So I might actually make this road where we pointed it here. I'm gonna actually I can begin me to build as it just that's okay. I can actually demolish through a lot of the road we just sort of built. It's free, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the game did technically start. I don't know how we lost that dollar but it's fine. I don't even know what we spent this dollar on. Oh, foreign manpower. What? I don't think mud roads cost foreign manpower. That's funny. Okay, I guess we just got a random charge for foreign manpower. So we're going to try again with our dirt road here. I don't mind going a little straight. And then we're going to curve them this way a little bit. And yeah, we'll build up a bit more curvature. Build up a little bit more curvature, like I was thinking. Okay, that should be good enough. So for our little construction zone to be sort of around this area, it might have given us a little too much space here. It'll be fine, maybe. Uh, yeah, because we'll do the mining and we'll actually do the processing down here where it's hopefully a little flatter. And then... Uh, connected very well. I think I'm connected pretty well. Uh, there we go. Shift to sort of move a lot quicker. And we'll actually keep a little bit of this curvature. Trying to hopefully keep it a little flat. I know we don't have bulldozers or things, so we just stick it in this flat land a little bit. I feel like this is a bad idea, actually. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, there's no control Z. I, I don't think we're going to do that. Just really looking through them like this is just a lot of pathing for no reason. So, uh, just gonna go straight with it. <laughs> we might do this a couple times. Uh, we're just gonna straighten ourselves out. Oh, I missed a part. That's fine. Uh, just kind of looking to, I want to get to this area. So in order to get there is going to be a lot more work from here. Yeah, because this is across water, and I don't really want to deal with the water yet. So, yeah, in order to get to there is not going to be great. But, like, worst case, we'll have our own production areas. Oh. The infrastructure's in the way. Did I miss some? No. Weird. Okay. Uh... It's actually very not flat. Just kind of really looking at it. Uh, it might be an issue. But maybe we'll actually just do it up the hill a bit. So this area is a fair bit flatter. And we'll try to get some stuff up here. So that, that might work. We'll find out. 
Uh, we'll actually do double roads. I'm cool to keep this little gap in the middle. Uh, what a great way to get these roads to parallel. I don't want them... You could do it like this and like have the game parallel them for us. But I kind of want a bit of a gap in between. So we're going to try this, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to make the mini-map a little smaller. I'm cool to keep it on screen for a little while, just so we find our bearings. But for a general gist of our map, uh, I feel like hopefully we can get some construction area up here. Okay, so we'll, we'll give this a go. What do we need need first? So, our sort of goal thing to eventually make would be... Let's see, what resource do we have nearby? That's actually a better thing to think about here too. So, there is a lot of iron down. Uh, it's across the water though, isn't it? Yeah. But there is some iron a little north in this mountain, technically. So we could just try to go more north with it. Which is up. Instead of going south. I was kind of hoping there was a little red on the map south. But I don't see any. That's okay. We'll make it work. Oh, where's coal? Coal was. There's some coal up there too. Okay, those are some really resource rich mountains. I was hoping to get oil a little easier. I think there's a little oil along here. If not mistaken, it should be in front of us. So could look at is where would the word power be repeating yeah we don't actually have these because it's just a no effect seasons. do we have seasons enabled no we don't okay oh you need to select okay that's why i was thinking why it wasn't but we do have water so that's the thing we'll have to figure out how that works again soon but i was looking for power or industry actually to find oil Storage is oil. So if we were to get just the pump jack that was supposed to be on the north side of the river. Okay, there's a little bit here. It's not great pumps. But for some that's hopefully not too hard to transport around. My god, uh, is this much better? Okay, yeah, 40s. Sort of circling. Okay, 50s, 60s. These are a little better, but. I'm not against just trying to get like a little wind turbine or something with a little oil and just to have that be a process. I, I know this little starting bit is going to be a lot more planning and thinking. Like we're, we're, we're trying to future proof a little bit, but you can sort of see we'll actually need like a lot of materials and stuff in order to go through a lot of this oil processing. Oil's one of those nicer things though, because once you have it made, it just takes a little bit of power, like the oil pump, sorry. Once you have it made, it just takes a bit of power and then it doesn't take any workers at it. So it kind of just is like a passive resource where some things kind of like any of these process goods kind of take a little bit. I don't remember if the coal mine needs workers. I don't think so either. So it might just be the mine thing doesn't, but it's just, I feel like we can get more money out of raw oil than coal. Let's look. Actually, it's a good idea. So, if we were to export, it's uh, 41 ish dollars a ton. We might call them dollars. I, I don't actually know what the P symbol stands for properly. So, it, it'll be what it'll be a little bit. So, that's oil. Ooh, we could export water, I just realized. That's a fun one I didn't know. Uh,. Wastewater does cost money to export. We'll probably try to find some way to process through some of that. Uh, what was I was looking for? Yes, yeah, so raw bauxite. Quarried stone is what we get. Prefab panels look pretty good. Uh, mechanical components are going to cost a lot of our money, which is why we kind of started up pretty big. Gravel's not too bad of an early ish thing, but we're not going to export. It's going to be a pretty big early on cost, like it's 10 bucks a ton and most of our roads and everything are going to start off with gravel. So I think it's a pretty good early on resource to go for. So I think we might go for the quarry set first. 
and to try to get all of that set up. So I think we have a, I have a sort of rough plan in my mind. I think I shared some of it. We might import crops for a while. Wow, alcohol is pretty expensive to export. That might be... Ah, no, it's not going to be worth making. Oh, we're going to ignore those. Blah, blah, blah. We'll be sold to rubles. Yeah, oh, rubles. That's the name. Okay, I knew there was an R or something in it. I know why it's a P, but there we go. We'll try to call them rubles when we remember. Uh, food's not bad. So what's something we should go for early on? We might import crops early. We're probably going to start off with our construction stuff. I don't care enough about boards and things. We're going to for sure do things that roads will cost. We'll eventually go towards rail. Uh, which is nice that we're here. So this is going to be a pretty big export zone down here actually. For our rail yard. Because I'm not the best with rail traffic. So sometimes I'll sort of set up some extra sort of like traffic light stops. And that seems to help my process. Which it's not going to be. I'm not the most efficient person. We'll attempt to min-max, but we're not going to be successful. Okay, uh, but yeah, okay. So with all that in mind, 20-ish uh, minutes in, let's get our first sort of process thing in. So I think I want to produce gravel first, so... If we were going to do construction office, this should be the free one, yeah. So we can get up to four vehicles here. Might try to build this. It might be worth building this. It's pretty cheap eventually, too. Just, yeah, for this tiny construction office, we'll actually put it just here. Uh, I'll actually try to go a little lower with it. Where it's gonna be. Yeah, we're allowed up to seven of them. So there's one construction office. Hey, do you get fuel in you? No, you don't. So that will mean you will also need. Uh, I could find it in roads probably. Yeah, fuel. So you can do a free gas station. We'll have 12 of these. So these are pretty good to, I'd say, use because they none of these little free things don't require power. And like they're already built. But we just have a limit. So we're only allowed 12 of these free gas stations. So to try to save some for weirder places is kind of nice. So we'll probably have one like in this area too for the uh, mining vehicles and all that. Just so they stay out of the path. Uh, not there. Okay, we want the free road depot. We'll probably just go with all the sort of free things. Uh, how do we do with the road depot? I'm trying to remember. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, we'll put it around here. It's fine. For now, okay, uh, could do a free technical services office too, do it around there, there's a lot of trees in the way for now, but that's okay, uh, we will grab our mud road, I'm just gonna have a turn to point, turn around point there, and we'll do a little turn around point there for now, uh, I could put another one here for now too, just for the fun of it. So that should do us pretty well for this little while. Uh, could see what things are. We'll probably actually need another construction office if I'm not thinking stupidly. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba free bus stop. Uh, I don't actually think we have a use for the free bus stop yet. We could look through that eventually, but we're going to probably pick up people from there so let's actually get road depot they do a technical office right that's the problem these vehicles are things like the same technical depot construction office so all these things we do need to eventually make ourselves so like workers gra i mean you i mean you could make workers right but gravel asphalt concrete steel bricks prefab panels boards mechanical components and then electronic components so for now we're just gonna set them up that's why I replace the building source so, yeah so this is gonna be all of them for now there's a pretty easy one uh, cool. uh, 
Okay, this is name Kupersk shirt. Uh, but about, we gotta think. So what vehicles would we want? Uh, yeah, there's no connection. So we would come here. So we would need a bus. Uh, we'll just go by bus. Men look at speed a little bit. They don't all go the fastest. But let's think. So I hold six, seven, you know, let's actually hold by capacity. Uh, yeah, they all cost pretty similar. So I'm not against 60 people. 65 you go any faster you go 75 for 82 extra thousand and a half dollar or three bulls sure good enough so we have our bus we'll grab uh we're probably gonna need a couple more of these uh construction offices oh the game is paused so you won't see those uh grab a bulldozer for now it, it'll take a couple construction offices uh me with the 9,000. I mean, we could just spend the money. What's the difference between you two? Speed? Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably better off, hopefully. Uh, I'd like the capacity over, just so it doesn't need to travel as much. Uh, what's a covered hog going to transport? Oh, mechanics and such. Okay. Uh, anything that goes above 60 is good enough for us for now. We will eventually want to get some better ones, and we'll see. Like, like these are nice and all which you know what six tons what's the difference eight tons we are we are just doing mechanical components so it doesn't really matter too much like that to me uh well, let's go for speed here seven tons good enough uh grab a dumper uh we're actually gonna try to grab a smaller one for now Ooh, uh shoot so oh, that just paint uh I'm gonna actually go for speed ones here. Cause I feel like we'll have a lot of small-ish projects and it'll all be helpful, hopefully. And we'll we'll do another construction office in a second, because we're gonna have too many mechanisms. Uh go 90, yeah, that's a little higher than I like, but not six, so that's seven. Three tons, two tons, wow. Okay. Oh no, that's empty weight I'm looking at. I wanna find one that's got some sort of capacity. This one's so far the best with seven. Five point that. I think we're gonna go for the J. Oh, I have too many things, don't I? I got four already, right? Yeah. So we're actually gonna need another construction office. So we'll probably just build two more. Construction industry. Wood. I didn't actually think about the wood one. The wood does get some workers. There, there's not too much workers needed at it. It might be a pretty nice early on style thing. Especially because it doesn't really take much to it. But, okay. Ooh. Yeah, concrete's going to take water too. Forgot about that. We'll figure out where water comes from. Uh, construction. But let's scroll ourselves in a bit. Structure, but oh, there's a road there. Oh, I missed the roads. I gotta fix that in a second, so we'll just do this here. Just do three, and then we'll fix the road here. I don't know how I did this. Uh, there you go. Okay, well, we'll have to find out if anywhere else along the way I missed any roads. That could uh, explain a little bit of issue. Combine these, but we'll. There's a way. I'll find that in a second. Lion City overlays construction offices assigned tool. Okay. There we go. So, uh, oh. apparently these aren't all assigned. Okay, I thought they would. Guess not, but that's fine. Boop, we'll just do that. And we'll do the same with this one. We might try to build a bigger construction office. It might honestly be worth it. Boop. Ah, man. This is why deleting roads early on sucks. Because uh, I guess that's twice now. It's fine. These offices are mostly temporary anyways, so we'll get to them when we get there. We'll upgrade them when we upgrade them. 
Uh, we could import some power when we need to also for now. I might try to make some wind turbines. I don't know how strong they'll be, but we'll hopefully find out. So let's see. We're just probably going to get one of each vehicle, honestly. So, uh... Ba -ba -ba. You have a... Oh, I'm looking at the money instead of the rubles. So, uh, dumper. You said that one. Excavator. I don't actually know how much of an excavator we'll need. Which one's going to be the fastest? Uh, I'm going to actually grab an open haul. And I'll look at capacity. I'll probably get two of those. And then we can grab the excavator. It doesn't really matter which one we go for. So i actually go by excavator. Boop. There we go. And then we'll deliver mechanisms with trucks. Yep. Yeah. Actually going to toggle some of these on. We do have the trucks. It will sort of take a little bit away from us, I guess, technically. Uh, no, I want to grab some vehicles, but this excavator is going to take a while. I don't care about felled trees, so that's fine. We did grab two open halls. We want a paver. There's only one. We don't care about personal cars. There is a road crane. Oh, I thought we had another crane, too, did not there? I could swear there was a different crane, too. Uh, maybe. I don't know if we can do it on this one. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, just grab my speed. What are you? Your road crane 23, your road crane 30. What's the difference between you two for now? Yeah, we'll do two of those. And we're actually going to grab... I know bulldozers are pretty critical. So which one goes faster? Uh, engine power 20. Yeah, these spells go 20 only. 28. And that should be good for now. So if we were to even look here, we should sort of slowly see all their vehicles start making their way from there. You can see a little queue of them. Uh, yeah, I'll make sure that our roads are all connected still. Yeah, they might sort of slowly come along this way. That's fine. These are two lane roads for now. We'll eventually change them to one lane and maybe we'll straighten them up. But that sounds like... Uh, a little bit of effort, and who knows how we'll do there. Okay, so next we'll come to the road depot, which these things will eventually need. The thing I like to probably just get would be uh, actually go to the technical office. Oh no, it doesn't work through technical office. That's fine. We'll grab a water truck. I'll just look at speed for now. Grab the fastest suit, fastest water. You know, just make them both there for now, too. So now we have water in that. We have two vehicles. Uh, I don't care about the winter maintenance one because we don't have that. But you see we have our two vehicles. What we do need is a fuel one. Where? Oh, here we go. No, that's construction. Is it a depot? No, it wasn't a depot. There was one other one we needed I don't have. Uh... Technical office? Do we have what's this one? No, that's technical. I thought there was another one that we could use. Uh was it a road depot? Maybe it was. I'll uh, we'll find out in a second, not bus stop. Cargo no, not cargo. Not gas station, not trolley bus. Maybe it was. I thought we could set it to maintain. What's the one I'm thinking that'll maintain things? Uh Check if it's under that's construction, helicopter, rail construction, cement, concrete, prefab, asphalt, gravel, quarry, wood. Is it under storage for some reason? Warehouses now? Storages, 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 storages. We'll find it in a second. Maybe it's under construction for some reason. Concrete, prefab, asphalt, yeah, gravel, processing, clothing, fabric, sawmill, wood cutting. I don't think it's under here. It should be one to maintain things. I'm missing the name of it, and I will find the name of it as we go along here. This is all pedestrian stuff, which is fine. We'll grab a couple of those soon. Ooh. Oh, no, that's just poplars. Uh, it wasn't be residential, I don't think. Grocery store, shopping center, restaurant, pub, cinema, gallery, television, sport, football, indoor. Uh, we could pause again for now. Uh, cargoes. Yeah, that's what it was. I think it was a cargo. Uh, 
Is it cargo? No. No, we don't want the container stuff. Not factory connections. Not open storage, not warehouse. I don't know it's a cargo thing. I feel like that sounded right to me. Uh, that's airport. Oh, these. Oh, harbors now. Yeah, that's road ones. Maybe, okay, we might just do a road one quick too, actually. What's the difference? Oh, there is one. Oh, okay. Maybe was this one modded? No. It's this one. Okay, these both have things. Uh, This takes a little more concrete, a little more work and such. What's the difference between it? I think it was, was it road cargo? Well, we'll find out if it was or wasn't in a second. We'll probably build that first then, just in case, because I think that's the one I wanted. So, construction is stopped, construction isn't assigned. So we'll go to, probably could have defaulted assign, but that's fine. We'll assign it. Yeah, all the resources will be there. So we can actually see our first construction should happen soon. Our vehicles are going to make their way up here. We are going to need to get fuel though, so let's remember that. So you can hold fuel though. Just go for something that's got speed for now. I don't care about the efficiency soda as much. Uh, you're good enough. Oh, later vehicles, you. We're gonna give you a stop. You're gonna come here. You're gonna unload. You're gonna come here. You're gonna load fuel. And you unload everything. Okay, yeah, I don't actually think I have a spot for you to wait here, though, do I? I don't think so. Uh, did I put it in the right spot? Oh, no, I didn't want you to unload at technical office. I want you to unload at gas station. Where did I put the gas station? Oh, here. And you're going to unload. Uh, technical office is... Oh, nope. no, I meant to... Whoops, okay. Go here, you unload fuel, you come here, and you load fuel. On the station, good enough. And with the start button. So now, because we started the line, oh, I think we're gonna auto save. We're gonna launch it. Alright, uh, yeah, let's follow you. Yeah, boop. And you're gonna come up and around. You're gonna come up, you're gonna unload the zero fuel you have in you. Try to drive off. Uh, you should have everything you need, don't you? Sign so construction, yeah. Your medium priority. Some vehicles. Oh, because there's no fuel on the thing. Okay, yeah, we gotta fill up fuel from the station. Where are you going? You're coming here. That's why, because we don't have any fuel here, so we kind of should have done that sooner. That's okay. That's why we picked a speedier truck. So we'll just sort of follow this truck. It'll come to get us some fuel. And then we should be getting a good head start on the next. So we can see that its max speed allowed is 90, but it's only going 35. That's because these dirt roads actually have a little speed limit on them. Which, if we sort of see, like the mud, oh, sorry, mud road is 35, and it's a slow walking speed. I'm gonna try to get to gravel. Oh, that's 35, yeah. So this will almost double if we go to gravel, and then if we go to asphalt or any of the sort of upgraded asphalt. Ooh, it's panel road. Huh. Oh, panel. Panel road's interesting. Well, we'll probably go to asphalt. We'd probably be smart. Oh. Are you out of fuel? Are you hilariously out of fuel? Well, I think it's the issue. Do I need more? Uh, maybe I need another fuel station in here. Okay, well, we'll find out. Uh, it might just be a little far, so we probably should have put one earlier on. Uh, I made a road depot, didn't I? Yeah, okay, I'll well, we'll try to make a fuel station. Apparently that didn't work. Oh, we live and learn. Did never say we were good at this. Uh, industry, let's feel that. No, that's nuclear. 
Where is that? Uh, we'll go from the parts then. I gotta find out what the road cargo station's gonna hopefully do. Uh, where's fuel? Am I crazy having a hard time finding fuel? Uh, I guess I am. Road depot, we're gonna find it. I believe in us here. Uh, are you covering it? Yes, you are. Uh, that's a one way gas station. There we go. Okay, we'll move to the stop. Hopefully, I can get to go. Ah, darn, come on. Do I really need another one? I said it's deep up. Probably can't, but that's fine. I guess we'll try another one. Okay, we'll try a second one. It's okay, we live, we learn. Uh. Second one of these. You get a new stop. You come from here to here. You're gonna load fuel. You're gonna unload. Oh, I have a backwards one. You're gonna unload fuel, and you're gonna load fuel. You're not gonna unload. You're not gonna load. Go to the depot. Oh, can't I go to the depot? Move to the stop. Oh, uh, we need to move to the stop. Let's see if I can skim the system. Uh, let's actually put a road here. And I'm going to do one more here just temporarily. There we go. I got a T U turn. Okay, we're getting some progress. Uh, apparently, we'll let's just solve it. Worst case, we'll just keep one of these in storage for a little bit if we have to. Okay, let's see what you're doing. Okay, here we go. And that solved this guy too. <laughs> what a... Uh, I guess we built off a little farther than we should have. And then you can actually go back to the depot. Oh, uh, you don't know what depot to go to. So, let's just do that. Okay, all these vehicles are going to come here first, which is kind of funny. That's okay. Because uh, this guy should be our fuel delivery truck. And it delivered half to here. <laughs> you can sort of see all our vehicles coming to get fuel. Oh, we'll find it. There we go. Where are we at? Uh, I forgot I could save things there. Uh, I want to try to find. Uh... We're just sort of trying to skim our way to see if we can get a good spot for a good old screenshot here. I don't know how to hide things properly yet. I'll find it in a second here, won't I? Uh, everything's built from resources. Settings. No, game settings for a second. Ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba 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 so game settings we did at the start. Economy, ba -da -ba. Maybe in controls. Uh, no graphics controls. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba 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 Rotate mirror. I knew that. E uh, toggle GUI is G. Oh, look at that. Good enough there. Actually, try to get them maybe close to the customs house. I don't know. But yeah, that's a good enough start for us. We'll toggle this back on. We'll let them all fuel up at the wrong spot first, which, I mean, mistakes happen. It's fine. Uh, you are coming back to the depot. So you're the one that's not doing the right thing, which is fine. 
This gas station should fill up soon, and then they'll be able to use this one for the construction stuff instead. Because for the amount of time and effort they're going to come to here for. Where I'm hoping it'll even have enough fuel. Just thinking about that. We, we did buy a lot of vehicles at the same time. Apparently got two road crates. Okay, I didn't realize. Whoops. All good. So you see how much is left. Okay, yeah. So you took like a ton, didn't you? You guys are going to take a lot of fuel. Uh, it might be worth actually at the start having both of these guys go in. So uh, if you came back to the depot, I'm actually going to send you off on your way. Uh, this one's going to only do that first one for now, which is fine. Because as soon as we buy a vehicle, it should just sort of automatically go there. And, and I'm okay to waste this little bit of money on fuel for now. It, it doesn't really bother me enough to care. Okay, there, there's our good old start. Uh, I feel like I kind of want to get one industry at least done. So let's see if we can get... Uh, well, we work working on this. Let's see, is this going to start getting built? No. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Maybe we'll double check our construction office's assigned tool. I don't know what you kind of need. Uh, your offices should have everything they want. Uh, yeah, you have that. Okay, so it should be able to do that. We'll find out in a moment then, I guess, won't we? So you can do everything. You have cranes, you have this. You have this, okay. Uh, you have a bus. I might actually grab a second bus. Does this one have a space? Yeah, this does. Uh, so I should get you another bus. Uh, where is bus? I'm actually going to grab two micro buses. So, uh, there you go. This should help it. I do know that there's a long queue for the vehicles coming back. It's a little funny. This guy's technically going slower than they could all go. Let's actually grab this image too. Let's see if we can get it just outside the construction offices before they come in. This will be a pretty good screenshot. I'm pretty happy here. Let's see if we can catch it up. Okay, there'll be a lot here. Um, just actually hit. My favorite is F10. I think F10 was the screenshot button, but I could have lied. Oh no, it's 12, isn't it? F12. Yeah, there we go. But oh, we got our screenshot. Let's see. Oh, they're coming for fuel here now too. Well, that was a little bit of a waste. But that's fine. We'll see if they start construction here. I'm hoping. I didn't care as much about the signs yet. They get foreign workers from here. There should be foreign workers, which is what we want. We should technically have everything we need. So if this doesn't work out, and it could just be because of the fuel line taking some time. It's a high priority. We could see, okay, they're going back to the depots. Which, yeah, they're filling up and then depoting. Uh, this guy's unloading, I think. Yep. Yeah. And they're on their way back. Perfect. So they're doing what they should be doing. They probably could have gotten a bigger truck. But I wasn't expecting all the vehicles to come at the same time to fuel up. Which, this should maintain them pretty well. Sources, yep. Yeah. Uh, you have all the sources. Oh. Yeah, there you go, that's all that. Because I minimize this? Yeah, you're all at Jonesy. That's accurate. What are you? Yeah, you're all at Jonesy. And then you... Should also all be a Chelsea. Yeah. You have everything you need. No workers or mechanisms. Okay, oh here we go, we're starting. There's the first deliveries coming in. We figured it out, I guess. It, just everything needed fuel, which I mean makes sense. And we're gonna start digging. So these guys will deliver. And they honk every time. And look at that. We got the start of construction. We probably could have gone for a bigger construction site. We'd probably be smart to do soon, too. Just because we could also put fuel right into it. And it'll save our hassle on this. So we, we might do that soonish. I'll probably put it on this side of the road. Yeah, okay. So all this needs is a crane for now. Good to know. Uh, probably does need more storage-based stuff, too. 
Let's, uh, what, do you, what kind of materials do you need? Okay, oh, well, you got all the materials, I guess, yeah. Uh, no, you don't. Uh, do I need something for the steel? Yeah, I might need something to deliver the steel. Uh, where are you? Yeah, because you're just doing the fuel runs. Uh, let's see, do I have open? Yeah, I have a big open. Uh, let's uh, peek over again. Oh, no, I didn't mean to buy you, but it's fine. I guess I, I got a little open hauler. I meant to just look. Uh, yeah, okay, you could do steel and stuff too, so that's fine. I, I guess we just have an extra vehicle. Uh, I don't care about another excavator. We have, did we get a roller? I don't remember, but it's fine if we didn't. And yeah, uh, I guess we'll just try to watch this get built and see what else we might need. Oh, it's at the next stage. Oh, needs a cement. Okay, so the problem with the concrete is concrete, I'm pretty sure, is to order. It's either concrete or cement. I always get the two mixed up. One of them you need that you can't store. So let's actually look. Uh, okay, it's cement is to order. So concrete you can store, but cement you can't actually store. Can you? Oh. No, I have it backwards. You can store cement, you can't store concrete. Okay, I thought I had it right. So yeah, we might eventually see that there's nothing that can actually store concrete, but you can store the cement. So we'll probably want to go gravel and then we'll want to go concrete probably just because or we might go whatever the raw resources to that are. Uh, traffic jam, yeah. Uh, new vehicle tip available, that's fine. We'll probably need this eventually. Oh, look at that. Okay. How filled up are you? Are you the double and are you this? You can go back to depot because you're not doing much anymore. Just send you back home. The uh, water and sewage truck are fine for now. When when we get things that'll need water and sewage, they'll cover them pretty well for like a while. So I'll probably bump the range up a bit on them for now too. None of these little buildings create either, but I think some of our construction stuff or our houses and things will eventually make it. Let's see what the next thing we need here. Okay, it's coming up. Let's see what we have. You have all the steel on you. Okay, four point that. Okay, the current phase is to pour concrete. So it's currently getting the steel. Uh, do we have only one concrete? You know what? Maybe we'll get another concrete mixer too, and that'll sort of finish off these little construction offices. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, concrete mixer. I actually get what capacity was this time. There we go. So now we have double the concrete. And that should hopefully speed up the process here a bit. And we're gonna... Yeah, we didn't actually get to the stage. There's the delivery. I think the next one should probably nail the delivery. Yeah, see, we do have a lot of idle vehicles here. So we could start the next process too. Oh, road crane's coming in. Oh, let's go to the road cargo station. What? Oh, because that's here. Yeah. Let's see what vehicles do we have? Okay, we have. I don't know what you are. Oh, uh, you have people. That's good. We got a bus full of people coming. We have a mixer. And then we'll have another bus of people coming. Because, yeah, people is going to be a little bit of an annoyance. Which is why I did get a few buses. So we have the big bus. And then we do have those two mi these two micro buses. Should kind of help for some of the small things and hopefully help for some of the big things. So we do technically have one worker there. And then... 47 workers in this one, yeah. So, we're definitely putting a fair bit of money out there right now. Uh, we'll get this eventually. That should maybe help with things. I have no clue, actually. I don't think we fully need this. I just wanted this for fuel. Honestly, this was just going to be the start of fuel, and then the technical office was doing water and things just fine. Uh, yeah, we don't actually care about snow plows. We don't get snow, so that's fine. Yeah, let's look to gravel quick, too. So let's start that, and then we'll probably finish off soonish. 
So grab a quarry. Uh, we can left mouse button to flatten. So we could grab something bigger. And we'll see. Ah, oh, no, it's too big to flatten. It's fine. We do have the little cranes. So I didn't mean to put this here, but that's okay. Um, just demolish. It doesn't really cost us resources. We do have terrain tools here, which is probably smart. Uh, there's another way to see the terrain. I kind of want to actually get that overlays. Find the overlay. Uh, terrain. Dude. So build properties. Construction. Was it flats I wanted? No. Sewage water. No. Uh, construction's a cool one. Okay, that's cool. I don't mind having that on for now, so let's keep that on. Oh, it doesn't stay on. Apparently it doesn't. Okay, cool. Good to know. It's vehicles I wanted. Oh, cool, because that's the only resource we have. I wanted land. I thought there was a way to see it. And I'm going to find it eventually. So isn't it like a topographical map, I want to say? Huh. Make city, yeah, it's fine. Economy, trade, population, resources. Okay, I don't know how to find the topographical. Oh, it's on the right. Of course it is. Uh, ground lines, topographical. So we could sort of see here. Yeah, you don't actually get much wireframe. There's a little... A little more confusing. Uh, but here we could sort of see how flat and stuff this area is and like you could it's pretty high up on this mountain so we do want to build around here and i'm gonna kind of try to hope we can get maybe two-ish uh, you know actually let's grab the terrain tool we'll grab level terrain from center and i have center and actually just make this a little bigger so to see they go a little slow but we we're not paying anything except i think a little fuel for these guys so this might be a while i don't actually know how much they're doing i see them moving are they doing much who knows maybe uh, we're not the highest level but there we go okay you can sort of see if we just spread out ourselves out. Maybe we're just gonna raise. Yeah, I don't know if I'm seeing much change. But this is a pretty steep mountain, so it might be a little hard to see much change. Okay, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm bored of that. I just might do it the sort of easier way is just to do it with an item and like this will go a lot quacker, uh, quicker. Yeah. I'm just come here. Oh, no, this is a little close. Uh, I don't mind it being close, but I wanted to have a little space between. So let's try one last time here. Let's check if the technical service is done too, actually. Nope. Okay, almost done. So here we go, we're going to be here for the end of it. And boom! This building is without power though. <laughs> for any facilities. We'll get them set up real quick here. <laughs>